Well, it's 25 years this year since uh, we had our first one. Well, the goal was to raise a lot of money for uh, the Cancer Council, of course, but we also wanted to demystify funerals. Like, there's two sides to the coin. There's a happy side and a sad side. We wanted to bring the two together and say there was nothing to be afraid of when you stepped in the front door of William Barrett and Sons. The first one we had was just in the foyer of the chapel and then it expanded out to the two port cachures. Now we turn the whole funeral centre into an al fresco cafe and we serve about 2,000 cups of morning tea. We are so successful with this now because of the community. The whole Bunbury and wider community get behind it. We have over 100 businesses that support us now and at least 100 volunteers who work on the day or cook. Some of our volunteers have been with us since the very start, so 25 years. Um, a lot of them have been personally touched themselves or family members or friends through cancer. There's some really inspiring stories, there's some really tragic stories, but each year people keep coming back and trying to give back and do what they can to help the cause. I was diagnosed with triple negative stage 3 breast cancer in July 2011. Cancer Council had helped me with a few things when I was diagnosed uh, financially. Um, so when Margaret asked me to come down, I decided to come down and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I just thought the day was fantastic. When Adrian asked me if I wanted to be part of that day, um, I just thought, I've always done it, so yeah, I'll do it again. But then on that day, it was just so much fun and um, it was a lot of community came together, a lot of community spirit. So I just said to myself that I wanted to be part of that every year. Then in 2014, um, my dad was diagnosed with throat cancer. Um, and from, from then on, I, I became really passionate about being involved and just saw how much um, the Cancer Council help people out that have cancer. You don't ever think that it's gonna happen to you or your family. Um, so I just, I don't know, I just always wanted to raise money for cancer because you see so many people affected by it. We just need to have a cure and um, have the support that the Cancer Council gives to people is so incredibly important. I just was flabbergasted that my first year here of how this morning tea ran so smoothly and the participation of people, everyone smiling, laughing. It is one of the best days of the whole year. It really is a lot of fun, you know, and then knowing that you're helping other people. It's a very big operation now, but it's worth it for the rewards you get when you count the money and the satisfaction people get. People that come, come back every year and bring more people. Lots of the local primary schools have been involved providing entertainment since we began. I have to say South Bunbury especially, they've been here every year since we started, so it's their 25th also. And they've got a really special song they're, they're practicing to present at the event, which is all about inspiring hope. And, and at the end of the day, that's what the event is all about. When you stop and look back uh, out of those 25 years, a lot of those students now are volunteers because they've grown up of course and uh, they come back and say, uh, can we help out? From this event, we've raised over $286,000 so far. We'll certainly break the $300,000 this year, but through the community support, hopefully we'll see how high we can get that figure. raise our cups in the fight against cancer. Yeah! Reach for stars.